Well, hey, YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger, and I put together all of the patches on the internet for the Nux New X MG300. I did this January 5th, and I have put together a download from a Google Drive. So if you look in the link for the description here, you can click and that will download a RAR file that contains all of these patches. Oh, this is a lot of work. I spent a week, contacted different people that had different patches. I scoured the internet and got everything I could. There's a, there's a uh, patch base, database where you can get stuff. I got everything that had been uploaded there for the new XMG300. And then there's a Asian release and a United States release. There's two different versions of the new XMG300. One has chrome knobs, that's the Asian version, and one has white knobs, that's the North American version. And there are different patches. So I got those Asian patches are included, um, as well as 22 impulse responses and I found a guy in a forum who had claimed he said I I use this device to record an album with it and he really liked it he said that he had a guitar that used an a piezo pickup in the bridge and he had a preset which was The impulse response, which is usually, it'll be like a reverb or for a cabinet, a guitar speaker with the microphone, like this is a Marshall 4x12 with a Shure SM57. That's an impulse response. And in this device, that's what the impulse responses are used for, typically is just for these speaker cabinets. Well, this one, they had modeled an acoustic guitar body the sound hole, the, the wood, the sound reverberating inside. So what you get, you can you can use this to simulate an acoustic guitar to great effect. You, if you, especially if you have a acoustic guitar with a uh, pickup, you run it, plug it into this device, and it gives you what you're normally missing, which is that sound timber of the guitar note reverberating inside the body of the acoustic guitar and coming out the sound hole. And it, it does, it really does work well. I use this, uh, I, rec I basically I worked on these, I got this thing, I worked on the patches for a week and I uploaded them to YouTube and they're, that's gone. I have no idea what happened to that video. I don't remember taking it down. This is coming up on April now, and I did this the first week of January, so it's very unusual. You did Moore hack my account? Anyway, this uh, worked from January to the, the 8th of January. I started recording until February 1st, and I uh, dropped this album, which is on YouTube. Now you're saying, well, here I am offering... You know, it was a week's worth of work for me. I contacted the guy. His patches were corrupted. His RAR file was not good. He ended up emailing me the patches. and Those are included. Um, and this did represent a, a serious amount of work. I went through and made my own custom patches. I went through everything I had downloaded and adjusted all that stuff to my ear and then installed custom impulse responses on all of it. And that's all saved here. You, you get that. So uh, it's, it's a week's worth of work for free from Petey Two Finger. So what's the catch? Well, I'm asking you humbly and politely to give my music a shot. I've got an album that I recorded this year that uses this device. I think it's good. It's, it's mellow. It's not an aggressive. Uh, it's not metal or uh, hard rock. Um, so I'm going to ask you to give my music a shot and then if you would comment. Not here. Please comment here. That's great if you do, but I would really like you 
I like it when people comment on my work, on my album. So, should we take a look? This is going to be really long, but I, I, I want to go through the whole thing to make sure you, you don't feel like, oh, I'm giving you some kind of virus or something. So, should we dive in? Let's dive in. Here we go with the... Here we go with the Google Drive link. This is what you'll find just below the video here on YouTube in the description. So let's actually go over. We paste that in and hit enter. And here it is. These are the patches. We'll download them. The password is PD, no capitals one space two finger pd two finger is the password so we end up with this rar file nux mg300 patches extract here you need to extract them because they're zipped or rarred or compressed password is pd two finger check out my album please if you use these patches why not check out the album and leave me a comment so here's a link to the album it's called semantical nightmare there's two versions of this album so if you subscribe to my channel and end up snooping around you'll see that i have one that came out february 1st and another that came out march 2nd And we've got no sound because I've got the new XMG300 plugged in. So, shall we take a look at the first? Oh, it wants the password. P-E-T-E-Y space T-W-O-F-I-N-G-E-R. And there they are. So I've got this extensive readme here. Uh, there is sixties surf VH four. There's fifty six patches here. Here is twenty two impulse responses. These are geared towards high gain and heavy metal, but they'll work just fine for clean sounds. Nineteen sixty Marshall cabinet with G twelve M speakers. Uh, M160 mic uh, on the edge of the speaker cap, three inches off the speaker cap. So the, this is really helpful to completely dial in your own custom sound on this. The Asian patches, uh, I'm going to go ahead and here is the Nux easy tone software and I suppose now I really do need to mention this the first thing you really should be doing if you've never done this before is back up all your saves if you've ever hit the save button on your new XMG 300 that means you've changed these sounds and if you if you start playing around importing presets you're gonna write over the changes you've made and that's going to be gone forever unless you back up your work with the new x easy patch software and that's done by select you select all here and then hitting this button and say save it maybe make a new folder uh, We'll go to my desktop, make a new folder, uh, Nux back up, and then put the date. Let's say it's 03, 03, 03, and then OK. And that'll save everything that's on your new XMG300 right now. Because you don't want to write over your presets and then come yelling and screaming at me, I did what you said and I lost all of my, you know, 
So the way that you import is this. You click here, and we are on the desktop, the new folder 2. There it is, new folder 2. And here we go. So let's try the Asian patches. When you see one of these MG300 all preset, that means it's going to write over the entire thing. All 36 patches. And you say, what's with the Asian patches? You sound like, gee, Petey's a white, privileged, racist. Well, there's two models of the MG300. One is a chrome knob version, and one is a white knob version. The chrome knob version is sold in Asian countries. The white knob version is sold in North American countries, and they have completely different sounds. So that's in included. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's included with this download so we're finished okay so these are the asian patches ultra clean uh, and ending up with delay metal these are decent patches my least favorite i would say um, what we need to do at this point is go and unrar the other folder something i did not do yeah, here we need to unrar this. I know I know there's in in this first folder, because there's there's two there's two RARs that you get. The first one has 33 and 56. So that's what? 88 patches. Uh, and set two. Password is PD two finger. No S. PD, two finger, no capitals. So we've got set one. Let's use our easy tone software. And install set one. Oh, there's a couple of PD2 patches. PD2 clean DRA. That means it's reverse. Anytime you see draw or draw cab, that's backwards, and you need to toe down your delay, meaning your expression pedal controls the mix control for your echo. PD2 orange sunshine, that's a good high gain patch. So, yeah, Fender 410. The, th these uh, patches here, I went through and edited this stuff. VH4. Um, that's a pedal I want to build. <laughs> it's, it's actually an amp. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's an amp first, but they also made a pedal. So that was 33. I'm just trying to get a, a number. We had 56 and and 36 56 and 36 is that 92 and then two more back banks of 36 would be 72 so 72 and 92 yeah these are different these are different and this this lat dirty drock that's dirty reverse that means you took what drock that means set your expression pedal to control the delay time on the mix. And then when your um, when your toe up, it'll be regular, play the song. When you go to do the solo, you toe down and it'll go into reverse mode. Adrian Ballou trick. So yeah, the second bank on the second folder, this is... Uh, my work here the whole the whole second folder is my work this is me going through everything and really dialing it in and changing the names so i i basically i'll take a patch that someone else made and completely um, start changing it and then rename it so they're they're not they're not going to be similar like 
you think, oh, that's going to be, I'm going to have doubles. No, you're not. These patches that I redid, they're completely different. And these are the ones that I really like is the second bank. But that's what you get. Uh, 72 plus 92 something amount of patches. Um, and again, I, why am I? I'm trying to get my camera pulled up here so you guys... <laughs> there I am. <laughs> I can't see me. Oh, no. So uh, this represented a good, healthy amount of work for me. And I would appreciate it if you would check out Semantical Nightmare. You can also download... in, in, in there's, there's two versions of the album. The February and the March. On the March version, there's a link to the Google Drive with the MP3s. So if you don't want to sit in front of the computer, let's say you go jogging every night, or you, you, go, you want new music to listen to, you want to burn a CD and put it in your car. I had one of my buddies, the guy who's responsible for this music existing, Jimmy Photon. He gifted me a lot of the gear that's used on this. The, the GR1 synthesizer, the VG8, the Roland VG88 were all gifts. So <clears throat> he was like, can you, can you hook me up with a CD? So I, I, I'm not going to be burning CDs in the mail into your house, but <laughs> I'll do that for Jimmy. Trust me, I owe, owe him. But uh, if you would like to access the MP3s, they are there, and if you do download this, I would ask you kindly to be so kind as to take take a listen to Semantic Nightmare. It's only 38 minutes. It's worth it, and I would love for you to comment. All right, you guys, enjoy the patches. Take care of yourselves, and keep on rocking.